No Sergio Ramos in the Spain Girl Squad? Welcome back to another video and we still do have one Chelsea game left to cover but we are starting with the Euros as well very soon and the teams are getting announced this week so yesterday Spain's team for the Euros was announced and the massive shock was that Sergio Ramos did not make Spain's team is it really that much of a shock we'll get into it but I thought that it would be interesting to have to Spanish newspapers and kind of go through what they say. So these are the two newspapers that I've used in previous videos. As you guys know, Marca is the one that's very Real Madrid focused and you can kind of tell it's all about Ramos here. And then ASE is more general. And you can tell again from the cover, it's a picture of the entire team selected for the Euros. Big news personally for the Euro server so for us as Chelsea fans is that Aspilicueta has got called up and I'm so freaking pumped because I'm gonna get his jersey because I wanted to get it but I didn't know if he was going to be called up for the Euros and I didn't want to get it without him being called up because I thought that would be weird and it, he hasn't been called internationally to the Spain squad since 2018 and he's just he's just made it so that's fantastic but let's get into what these articles are saying so first up let's go with Marca so on the cover it says Luis Luis Enrique left out uh, Sergio Ramos of the Euros and he didn't he didn't bring in anybody from Madrid and and then the the quote from Ramos says I I how you say like animar uh, to cheer uh, yes I would cheer you on like another one is that right like another one from how from home I would cheer you on like any other person from home have to get the husband's seal of approval on the translations. So I've gone through and like tried to highlight the things that I wanted to show you guys, like the big meat and potatoes of the newspaper. So it starts off by saying that um, Luis Enrique named Llorente y Aspilicueta and Ramos wasn't there. Um, and then it goes into a quote from Enrique and he said, Ra Ramos isn't in the team because he hasn't been able to compete since January in the right conditions. It's not been easy to leave him out. I told him yesterday over the phone, I feel bad for Ramos, but I'm looking out for the benefit of the group. They hired me to make decisions. Sergio has my admiration, but I have to base myself or base my decision in the general benefit of the group and what we consider the best for the team selection. So it goes straight into that quote and then it does have a big quote from what Sergio Ramos um, posted on his uh, social media. So it says, and I, I didn't translate this, this is in Spanish, so I'm translating as I go, bear with me. It says, after a couple of messed up months and um, a weird season, now that also includes the Euros, I fought and worked every day in my body and mind to be able to arrive 100% with Real Madrid and for the team selection, but things don't always work out how you want. It's better to rest and return like I've always done. Uh, it hurts that I haven't been able to help out my team and not defend and, and defend Spain, but in this case, it's better to rest, recuperate uh, well, um, and in the in the next year that's coming, uh, return uh, like we've always done. It hurts not to represent your country, but you have to be honest and sincere, like with yourself. Um, that, you know, maybe he's not fit to to do it right now, and then it says like Viva España y Jalam. Uh, is it Hala Madrid? Ala. Ala Madrid. You say Ala. Yes. No, Ala Madrid. Ala Madrid. <laughs> Ala Madrid. <laughs> um, and then it goes on to say that without Ramos in the team, um, there is no but no representation from Real Madrid in the Euros. 
and I thought that this page was quite interesting here um, because it breaks down the entire team and then in the table it has like for the goalkeepers their goals conceded and then for the other players the goals that they've scored with Spain and in the 2020-2021 season which is um, really interesting as well so you can see that um, most of these players have played quite a few games for Madrid, if you can see it. Now, let's move on to the second newspaper. It says, uh, ni Ramos ni el Madrid, which means na, na Ramos and na, uh, and na Real Madrid. Like, neither of them have been included. Is that right? Is that a good translation? Mm hmm Okay. And then in the title here, it just says Enrique um, has given his list of the 24 um, players for the Euros without the captain and without any player from uh, uh, the, like the whites, the Blanco, like from Real Madrid. Um, and that is unprecedented in this tournament. And then it has a quote from Ramos as well. It hurts to not defend Spain. Um, there we go. So you can see here in this newspaper that the title is more focused towards like how Ramos and the Madrid players um, both were left out of the Euros. Like not one Real Madrid player was named in the Spanish side. So. Um, there's just a couple of parts the article was quite long so there's just a couple of parts that I wanted to pick out for you guys so it says for the first time in history in a tournament such as the World Cup or the Euros um, that that a player from Real Madrid isn't present in the Spain side and it says that it's talking about how Ramos not being named uh, actually isn't like all of that surprising given that he really did not play much. Um, he only played I think three games ahead of the Champions League clash against Chelsea and even in that in that game you could tell that he kind of looked off the pace and that he hadn't played in quite a long time. Um, so it says the absence of Real Madrid players is something unheard of in over 100 years of team selection. And then it gives uh, at the bottom Ramos's message that I've already told you guys, and and then and there's a further quote from uh, Luis Enrique that I thought was interesting, and it says that he doesn't have anything against uh, Real Madrid, and that Ramos and Carvajal would have been in the team if they were fit. Um, and then it goes on to say like that Busquets, Azpilicueta and Alba um, did make it like just at the tail end and I was excited. It says Busquets finished the season uh, on the bench, Azpilicueta, um, he, he, his um, admission into the team was last minute and Jordi Alba had to overcome a lot of difficulties to return to the selection. And then it goes on to say, um, but what's most surprising, what most catches your attention is that there's the absence of like a specialist in the right back role. So it says that Luis Enrique um, tr like trust this position or like is giving this position to those Oh, to those um to two centrales so to two center backs in Asplicueta and Diego Llorente and a midfielder in Marcos Llorente and he has left out or forgotten about Nacho who has played 83 games in 233 um as a right back for Real Madrid so they said they're saying that that is like very surprising obviously like we know that Asplicueta can play that right back role but he has been playing more as a right center back recently but they're saying that that's arguably even more surprising that Nacho has been left out than that Ramos has been left out and then it also gives like a little table um with the, the team it's not as big here with like the team and and their caps for the country so pretty interesting for you guys to see the differences 
between um, the two newspapers and kind of what they're saying. It's also been all over the news uh, yesterday and today as soon as it was announced. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be bringing you Euros coverage for Spain and England. I definitely don't know everything about the teams and the players, but I'm going to be doing a ton of research so that I can bring you guys really complete content hopefully for the Euros and I'm really excited for this because it's my first Euros that I'm making content for so it's going to be a super exciting summer and definitely more of this to come so if you like this video drop it a like subscribe to my channel there's literally so much coming I can't I can't there's so much coming and yeah until next time I'm out